Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're just going to quickly go into a new organizer that we have here and that is the Ulsa Tools socket organization tray. Um, it's got a steel construction backing with four rails on it. It's going to be an 80 piece socket organizer. You're going to have 20 quarter inch adapters or 20 quarter inch holders, clips, whatever you want to call them. There's going to be 33 eighths and 30 half inch drive and you can remove them which we're going to be doing in this video in order to sort out all of my miscellaneous sockets and basically so the reason we're going to get into this is i have used the Ernst socket boss wesling socket organizer and the harbor freight black socket organizer all three been great no issues with any of them all very well priced the Ernst and wesling being made in america fantastic and priced very well so i wanted to get an organizer of this design it's a little bit different from my other ones and there are a lot of these on amazon of this exact same style which is probably the same factory i don't know can't say 100 percent, but i wanted to get one of a brand that i know that i've used and trust uh, in the past, I have quite a few products from Ulsa Tools, and it's something that more people have heard of than some Samaman, uh, you know, Amazon name brand version of these rails that may be, you know, cheaper. But I wanted one that I knew or a company I knew was going to be around six months from now because a lot of those tool brands that you see on Amazon for a really good price, if you don't ever plan on having to warranty that item or ever have to worry about you know anything with that tool yeah you could probably go that route but when it comes to me purchasing tools or anything related to that i always want to go with brands that i know and trust unless it's something that i know i'm not going to use but maybe once a year you know something like that so these style of rails are going to run between 15 dollars and $50 depending on the brand then you get into tool truck brands that are going to range anywhere from $50 to $150 just depending on how nice of a rail tray that you want to go with this one runs $40 so it is on the higher end of the non tool truck brand socket organizers so I think this should be more around the range of $25 to $35 to compete more with the other brands out there that are the same organizer, but for basically half the price. This does come in two different color options though. It is going to come in green and black and then red as well. So if you wanted to separate, if you're going to use these for your standard sockets, you can use it for SAE in one color and metric in the other. I'm actually going to be using this organizer to kind of bundle all of my miscellaneous sockets that I have all over in my toolboxes. So we have these two here, some triple squares, some bolt biters, some more impact torques, and some more bolt biters, some allens, a lot of other tools or sockets that I had spread throughout four different drawers. And we're going to consolidate it on this here organizer. That will save me room in three other drawers so instead of having these spread out all over the place it's going to take up one smaller area in one drawer instead of four larger areas in four drawers uh, the great thing about this is you can remove the clips kind of install them however you want so like with these triple squares i have a couple half inch drive three eighths and quarter inch drive so it's a mix of everything but i want to keep them together so i'm going to order that we're going to be rearranging these clips exactly how we want do actually have a spring-loaded ball bearing in them to hold the socket in place so it does hold them very well and it's got this little tab here to lock it onto the rails here it is riveted to the steel plated backing and uh, it's good quality you got a little hanger handle here so it's easy to just grab the whole thing and go very nice can't say I see anything negative about it you can buy more clips as well so if you uh, need more quarter inch or 3 8 or anything like that you can purchase more clips Keep that in mind as far as this organizer this one has around 1300 reviews at four and a half stars so it is very well known and very highly rated so i just want to share that with you guys if you guys are interested in this or any of these tools a majority of the tools in my videos will be linked down in the description in the tools link for you guys so uh other than that let's go ahead and get these miscellaneous sockets that i had throughout 
both of my toolboxes, consolidate it onto this rail and see how it turns out. So I consolidated as much as I could with the clip options that I have. So the only thing that I wasn't able to put on the rail were actually the triple squares, which is just fine. That's still going to all fit in one drawer. So hopefully I've posted up pictures of what the drawers look like before with everything spread out and all that, uh, as well as some of the other organizers that I've used. So I decided to put uh, all of the half inch drive bolt biters up top, along with my oxygen sensor socket up here. Then I have the OEM Tools oil filter socket set here. I have the shallow 3 8 and quarter inch drive bolt biters. Then I have the impact Allen and impact Torx, and that comes in all three drive sizes. So what I have left here is 16 half inch drive clips, one 3 8 drive clip, and a quarter inch drive clip. So if I were to buy more clips, I would buy enough to do the triple squares just because this case is actually probably nicer as far as these sockets. I don't have enough, even with removing this set, I don't have enough of each size to do the triple squares. So I'd rather just keep those two sets together and then all of this together. And let's just go ahead and see, this thing does weigh quite a bit. Let's see if any of the sockets actually fall off. So we are good. None of the sockets fall off. You got your carrying handle over here. Good thing it does have that metal backing because if you were to lift this up and it was plastic, it would most likely break after a couple of times. So I do like that steel construction backing. The plastic rails are clipped on and I do like that you can actually remove these fairly easily. And the, ball, the spring ball bearings work really well in these. I think it's set up really nicely. Everything's nice and organized and I don't have a bunch of my miscellaneous items in all these different spots. They're all gonna be located in one spot now, so that's really nice. Uh, and it frees me up from, you know, using those two organizers up there. And then these organizers here, get some of these blow molded cases out of my toolbox. They work just fine when you have the space, but what, as you continue to pick up tools, obviously you need to consolidate and try and keep things as organized as possible. So I think this is a good option. I just kind of wish that the price on this was 10 to $15 cheaper, and I guarantee you it'd be way more competitive to those off-brand Amazon brands that you see all over the place uh, that are a little bit cheaper. So that's the only downside is this one being a little bit more expensive than the other brands of this style. Other than that, I think it's a great organizer. Let me know your guys' thoughts, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I forgot to mention any information, please feel free to ask a question down in the comments or feel free to drop some information down in the comments for the other viewers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of your guys' thoughts on this. Also, keep in mind I'll have this and many other of the tools that you've seen in this video linked down in the tools to, uh, link down in the description for you guys. Other than that, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'll see you guys next time.